Friends, this is your boy Amari Points here, bringing you the latest movie review. Today, uh, my movie review is going to be on Peach Dragon. I saw this last weekend and I absolutely adored it. This movie is for both children and adults uh, for all ages. Anyone who has seen the 1977 movie will absolutely adore this one. This is a perfect remake. What ev and what here are a few things that I can tell you about it. The elements of fear and sorrow in this movie was absolutely great. It brought tears. It it brought tears and so many kind of feelings towards towards this movie. It it gave me so I cried on a few scenes. I'm not gonna lie, it was that emotional. It was, I honestly couldn't help but cry on the few scenes of this movie, uh, in the movie. And the adults in this movie were perfectly cast, like Bryce Dallas Howard as playing Grace. She brought this character to life along in, in so many ways. Sorry, I can't speak. It's early in the morning. My bad. She brought this character to life in so many ways and I I absolutely loved I loved it. She was like a mother figure to Pete. She made she kept her promise she kept all her promises to him and everything. I'm not gonna spoil all the movie because most of you probably didn't see it yet. I know that and what she did and how she treated Pete like she was her he w was her own son. That was actually one of the main heart heartwarming parts of this movie. And also, and also, her fiance, uh, Jack, played by everyone knows him, Wes Bentley. We seen him in the Hunger Games and everything. He got that beard going on and all that. <laughs> he he owned. He practically owned this role playing Jack along with his brother, along with uh, Carl Urban, Carl Ur Urban who plays his brother Gavin. They both, they both own this role. They practically brought this kit, brought their characters to life and and many more. And playing uh, Grace's father. Uh, he actually was one of my favorite characters uh, throughout the whole movie. He uh, he believed he believed that the dragons actually existed when no one else did. And but, so believe me, he actually was the only one who under who believed Pete about dragons and so many more. And Natalie the girl, the little girl who's friends with Pete, she played, she played the perf, who was also played by Una Lawrence. She, she had a really big impact on Pete's life. She, she was his practically his second, the first, the uh, yeah, uh, sorry, she was practically the second other human he met, along with. Grace. She she had so much. She would. She had a huge impact on his life. Sorry, I was looking at my computer. She she taught him how to like eat a sandwich, and they actually uh, played like in in not that kind of play. Don't worry. She she actually was able to understand Pete more and more by the time she got to hang out with him. She and also the exciting and optimist this movie is both exciting and optimistic for both children and adults if anyone is interested in it, if anyone's seen the old nineteen seventy seven movie. This is kind of a whole lot different from all the, from, this is kind of a whole lot different. They kind of made Elliot, in, they made Elliot into a whole lot different, a whole lot different. He doesn't have like the pinkish purple, 
the pinkish hair. Instead, he's just all green. He's all green, and I have to say they the effects for Elliot, the graphics for Elliot were really uh, plain, were really played out, and so much more. And also, Oaks Gravely as Pete, I that kid actually knows how to act. This little kid, this little kid brought his character to life. I, I have to say that Oaks, good job. And I really hope, I really hope to see you in more movies as well. I, I, and what I would have liked, but what I would have liked to see, no, see though, was like, uh, Jack's brother not being a villain. We see him in the movie playing this, playing this bad guy who's trying to capture Elliot for some reason, like to sell him, to sell him for like other, so many other things. I didn't, I didn't want to see that. I actually wanted to see him play a good guy because I don't, I don't, this movie is supposed to be like a, family kids movie but instead we had a good instead we have kind of like a bad guy but I think but although we we kind of needed a bad guy don't get me wrong but I didn't expect it to be Jack's uh, Jack's brother so. although I actually loved I love this movie and how they remade it to capture the audience's attention and for the people who didn't see the 1977 version I highly recommend seeing that first before you see the movie so you can tell the difference I didn't see the 1977 version yet I'm not gonna lie but I did want to see it I did want to see it before I seen like the remake but I don't own it so yeah, this movie, this movie could have been a whole lot more great if they did, if they did like a whole lot more with it instead of just having people, instead of just having Pete being lost in the woods, he could have like just, he could have just been like one of those normal city folks and just found Elliot in the woods. But all in all, I love I love this movie. I highly recommend everyone should go see this movie so they can, so they can actually. So uh, I can I'm I am really sorry. I am I true I deeply apologize to everyone. I cannot speak because it's really early in the morning and I just woke up to be honest. But I all in all, I highly recommend everyone should see this movie because it's Disney, and. This movie sh is sh should basically touch your hearts in so many ways, and if you're looking to see a friendly uh, movie, I had a friendly Disney movie. I highly recommend you see this one because if you if you honestly don't, you're ne besides you're never too old for a Disney movie, and don't listen to what anyone else says. You're not you're diff. You're definitely not old enough. You're definitely never too old to see Disney movies. But all in all, but I like, I really like seeing Peach Dragon because basically this movie was well written out. The directors weren't kidding. The directors weren't kidding when they thought of, when they thought about, when they, uh, sorry, when they written this movie. They weren't kidding when they written. The directors weren't kidding when they started writing this movie. This movie is basically the best movie I ever seen. The best Disney movie I've seen, aside from The Lion King. I'm I'm not gonna lie, but I'm hoping they'll do a remake of that because it wouldn't make any sense if they did. And on to rating for a minute. Sorry. Stay with me, people. I 
I give Peach Dragon an A+, plus. in case you can't see it, it's an A, yes it's an A, because the what the special effects were well done, and, a lot, and also the cast and everyone who did this movie were really awesome in a lot of ways, and all, along with the directors who did a great job doing this movie too. I really hope like they do a sequel a sequel to this live action version of Pete's Dragon because I think there's more to this story that we need we need that needs to be told and many and many more if you guys well I don't want to spoil this but if you guys keep watching you guys like watch before the previews roll, you'll see Elliot. You'll see Elliot, all right, with a few other, a few other creatures, with a few other creatures. I'm not gonna spoil it, but you'll just have to wait and see. And I think that wraps up my movie review. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with everyone you know. And also. Be sure to keep on voting for me in the Dr. Pepper tuition giveaway. I'll be posting the link below for in this video as well. And I think and I hope you all enjoyed my movie review. Take care and God bless. Peace.